Hello Hunters and welcome to my channel. On the map are the best recon arrows that I use on Breeze. Starting with attacker side. Use this arrow when attacking A site. Walk into the gap between the buoy and the rock. Look at this corner and put your left hotline tip on it like this. With a 2 charge. This recon will give you early back sight information. This recon is great for revealing operator players' positions. From the same corner, look at this gap under the roof and put your shocked out icon tip on the left like this with a two charge. It will reveal the most common sniper positions. This recon goes through the canvas fabric and reveals everything under it while being virtually unseen by the enemy players. Found them. Stand in the same corner, look at this bottom left corner of the window and put the tip of your shock dot icon on it like this and do a one charge. I like to use this recon a few seconds after the round starts so my teammates can get an advanced position and not have to worry about the left side of the site. Here's an early mid information arrow. Go in this corner, look at this building edge and put your left line inside charge bar under it like this. With a full charge. The recon will show if someone is holding or pushing mid and some of B site. This is a great recon when pushing from mid to A. Going to this corner and above these leaves there's a white dot. Put your shock dot icon tip on the left of it like this and do a two charge. You can push or wall bank doors after the recon reveals the players close to it. This recon will reveal a hole. From the same corner, look at this dark line on the grey box and put your right hotline tip on the bottom of it like this with a 2 charge. The recon will reveal defenders pushing and by the time it lands you can get close to mid and wall bang if someone is close to it. Use this arrow when pushing B. Go in the corner near the rusty cannon, look at this bottom edge and put your left diamond inside of it like this with a 2 charge. This recon will reveal all the close corners in B. Use this recon for backside B. Go into this corner near the cage, look on this gap near the cannon and put the left point of the mouse indicator hut just under it on the green part and to charge. This recon is great against snipers that like to play backside. Use this recon for mid information. Walk into the same corner near the cage, look at the bottom left of the cannon and put your right line inside charge bar under it like this with a 1 charge. The arrow will reveal almost every position in mid. Another ninja recon, this time for B side. From the corner near the cage, look at the bottom right edge of the cannon where the shadow ends and put your top left tip of your charge bar on it like this. One charge, jump and release. The arrow will land hidden in the brick and reveal everyone around it. Switching to defender side, use this recon for early A cave info. 
Go into this corner, look to the right on this dark shape near the roof and put your top right tip of your charge bar just under it without touching like this and to charge. The recon is hard to destroy and will reveal everyone pushing A cave. Here's a great recon for A hall. Go in this corner on the bridge, look at this corner right here, crouch and put your right shock dot icon tip on it like this. With a one charge. If the enemy players like to push a hole, you can wall bang them through the doors. There they are. Goodbye, Cypher. This recon will give you a lobby information. Hug this wall and look to the left window until you see the green leaf like this. Aim at this door cage above and do a full charge. The arrow lands fast and reveals attackers setting up for A site. Use this recon for B tunnels and elbow info. Go into this corner in mid, look at this grass line that stops on the box and put the left tip of your right diamond on it like this. To bounce full charge. The recon will bounce from their backs fast and reveal this area. Use this recon for early B main information. Go in this corner in B site, look to the right under the leaf on this dark line on the brick and put your right hotline tip under it like this with a one charge. The arrow lands fast and is pretty hard to detect. Another recon for B tunnels and elbow, this time shot from B side. Hug this wall and line up this dark line with a close wall corner on your left like this. What I like to do is look at this dark cross brick formation and imagine another one above it and just aim at the top to bounce full charge. This recon will most likely hit an enemy player if they stand in that area which makes it very useful. Here's a great retake recon for A site. If you're rotating from B, jump on this pole in the corner, look at this white dot on the pipe just under the roof edge and put your mouse indicator top left corner on it like this with a 2 charge. The recon will be hidden under the leaf and reveal this area. Here is another retake recon that lands on this leaf. Go in this corner to the left of the dock. Put your crosshair on this edge above the blue triangle like this. And make sure the top left corner of your charge bar captures some of this white shape near the X circle. Do a 2 charge jump and release. The recon reveals everyone on site except players standing deep in the water. Here's a retake recon for B. If you're coming from A going this corner, look at this wall under the flag and you will see a green leaf with a yellow flower next to it. Put the left hotline tip on the yellow flower like this and do a 2 charge. The recon will reveal B back and some of sight. Here's another recon to retake B, this time from mid. Make sure there are no enemy players mid, go in this corner, look at this tiny leaf on the building edge and put your right hotline tip on it like this with a 2 charge. This arrow will reveal the most common after plant attacker positions. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and let me know in the comment section which lineup was your favorite. 
and I'll see you in the next video hunters.